History happened everywhere. Democratic Republic of the Congo faced the music 1950 to 1960. OK, let's go. In 1950 in Leopoldville in the Belgian Congo, a young musician called Franco Luambo was playing his guitar with a collection of musicians known as the Children of Loningisa, named after the record label they played for. In 1956, six of these players took a regular gig at the OK Bar, and they called themselves OK Jazz. Despite the jazzy name, the band played Congolese rumba, a sound based on Cuban rhythms, often with songs sung in Spanish. At the heart of the band was Franco, the sorcerer of the guitar. Franco made his first instrument from an old can and nylon strings and was playing professionally by the time he was 12 years old. He wrote and recorded over 100 albums with OK Jazz and he played with them until his death in 12th of October 1989. He's remembered today as beyond doubt Africa's most popular and influential musician. I've got a Congolese rumba. <laughs>